we were handing out feature match titles, I'd say this would be the my nominee. Three versus six. Aaron Brooks for Penn State. The sophomore from Hagerstown, Maryland. And Chris Weiler, the grad transfer from Lehigh. And it is Brooks quickly in on a shot and a two-point takedown. Wow, lightning fast. Just seven seconds into the match with a takedown. Now, if you saw it last week, Weiler, what a thriller. Down 6 nothing against Taylor Venz of Nebraska. Rallied all the way back to win 11-10, upsetting the then seventh-ranked wrestler, uh, Venz. Weiler also took out uh, Brown Eagle of Illinois, 8-2. to two. And Lion of Purdue, 4-2. to two. So already three wins over ranked wrestlers. But this, this kid, Aaron Brooks, superstar potential. Has a potentially dangerous there. One of the prize recruits in the country took that uh, year at the training center. And now here at Penn State. Brooks, a couple of wins already in those dual meets against Indiana. And Northwestern as there's a quick takedown, quick escape for two. Minute 30 remaining in this opening period. Brooks got a major last week against Indiana. And a tech fall against Northwestern. So he's riding bonus points in both his wins. Weiler, long career at uh, Lehigh. EIWA powerhouse, many years out in Pennsylvania. And uh, graduated, and as many wrestlers do once they uh, graduate, have that extra year of eligibility, find a new spot. And uh, we've seen Wisconsin, whether it was Johnny Sebastian a couple years ago, grad transfer from Northwestern, or Tristan Moran last year coming over from Oklahoma State as a transfer. Badgers have done pretty well with transfers here over the last couple of years. Boy, Brooks just all over. The legs, John Smith would be proud with those low leg singles. 8-3 now. Well, who saw this come? This is a battle of six versus three in the country. And an 8-3 lead now for the sophomore, Aaron Brooks. Final seconds ticking up. Brooks, by the way, also with a minute 40 of riding time. So big first period for Aaron Brooks here. 184 pound superstar. But we talked about Weiler. He had to be feeling pretty confident if you're going to pull an upset the way he's been going, especially that come from behind win over Venz down in Lincoln last week. Miles Amin, number one ranked wrestler in the country currently this weight class from Michigan. Hunter Bolin from Virginia Tech. Again, we'll have to wait and see the status of that Penn State Michigan duel. Trent Hidley of North Carolina State. Lou DePrez from Binghamton. Britt Wilson, Northern Illinois. Sam Colbray of Iowa State. Zach Bronego of Illinois and Nelson Brands of Iowa alongside Weiler. So currently five of the top 10 in the country in this weight class in the Big Ten. And then you have Venz, who was in the top 10 last week before the loss to Weiler just outside it. He's now at 11. So start thinking about that Big Ten tournament at this weight. You could have a guy ranked ninth, 10th in the country conceivably wrestling for fifth or seventh place. That's how deep. Nothing new, of course, but boy, when you see it, you also have guys, uh, Melzowski from Michigan State, Webster from Minnesota, Pazanski from Rutgers, Lyon from Purdue, so almost the entire conference 
at 184, currently in the top 25. Well, let's see if Weiler can mount a comeback. That's not the start you're looking for, is again, Brooks in on a low leg single, but how about the reshot here by Weiler? Let's see if he can finish. And just incredible balance there by Brooks. Weiler's got to say, boy, I took his best shot, countered with an incredible shot of my own, and I couldn't take him down. What do I got to do to take this guy down? I think there was some uh, blood time with Weiler initially. That was the uh, hold up there. One minute to go in this second period. Pace has calmed a little bit as it was just Brooks takedown after takedown in that first period. I tell you what, Penn State certainly had a game plan here today as they have really come out of the blocks fast in all their matches. Wisconsin's done a nice job of battling back in some of these, but uh, boy, when you give up a six, seven point lead in the first period, almost impossible against uh, wrestlers the caliber of Penn State to find a way back into it as there's another takedown by Brooks Amassing now over two minutes of riding time. This will be one of those weight classes that'll be, boy, we talked about not only the Big Ten tournament, but the NCAA tournament. Many great studs in this weight class to try and figure out who you're picking. So dominant performance. Let's see if Weiler can muster something here. Here's a guy who's won three in a row, just knocked off two top 10 wrestlers in the country in the last two weeks. I mean, there's probably nobody hotter coming in than Chris Weiler, but uh, a little different when you're talking about Aaron Brooks here. Nice job there by Weiler running him out on the uh, escape attempt. Oh, we saw this with uh, the spray uh, match with Lee at 165 pounds, where Lee had a huge lead in the third period, and Spray rode him out, got a couple of stalling points, but nowhere near enough to win the match. Brooks there does get the escape. I was going to say maybe Weiler's going down that same path. The diff difference there is your, or the problem there is you're not going to score enough points to win the match. As guess what, Brooks in on a low leg single. like he has been the entire seven minutes, well, six minutes thus far of this matchup here at 184 pounds and what probably was our feature bout of the day coming in, three versus six. Still have uh, Trent Helger, ranked six in the country, coming up at 285 and then we'll see the matchups, we weren't giving them ahead of time for the extra matches. Again, I was told there'd be three or four, so don't go anywhere. When we finish up here our last couple of matches, we will have bonus wrestling. Got to love free wrestling or bonus wrestling in this case. It's the COVID's been certainly tough on everyone. I say the one nice thing about these COVID restricted dual mates is the extra matches, right? And they count. And in some cases, I've seen it where uh, there are two ranked wrestlers from the same school or they flip flop. One week, one gets to start at varsity, and then the next week, and then they flip-flop in and out of the rankings. I've seen that in a couple of top 10 programs, so these extra matches are critically important if that wrestler ends up becoming the, the qualifier for his team or conference when you get to the Big Ten Championship. So don't think that these matches don't mean a lot coming up as by Brooks, that was impressive. I tell you, man, the way Weiler was coming in, I thought this was going to be a, a barn burner, but Brooks just too much here for Chris Weiler. 